What's your view on term limits for professional members? <laughs> well, ter term limits is, I dislike li lifetime legislators. Um, I mentioned that Strom Thurmond had been in the United States Senate till he was 112. Uh, and that was a slight exaggeration. I think I was off by, uh, by nine years or something like that. But it wasn't actually a... Robert C. Bird, who died a couple of years ago, he was there until his 90s. If you ever been to West Virginia, uh, you'll know everything in West Virginia is, is named after him. You land at the Robert C. Bird Airport, you turn left onto the Robert C. Bird Parkway, uh, you go past the Robert C. Bird uh, State Museum, and then, you know, and that's... And it's great. It's like it's like going round, driving round uh, Iraq in Saddam Hussein's day. It's like there's one guy and everything's named after him. And I, 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 I absolutely, I loathe that whole lifetime legislator thing. I loathe most of those guys who've been on t on TV. You know, all I, I, I bought my place in New Hampshire 23, 23 years ago. These the same guy, Pat Leahy, the Vermont senator, has never not been on the news. I, these guys, these guys, are, uh, they become part of the permanent governing class, and it's wrong. But the people send them there. And uh, in the end, I believe the people, I, the, the, I have a philosophical problem with, with term limits because I think the people have the right to elect who they want to their, to their legislatures. Uh, and it's very hard to pass laws against them. And even if you pass those laws, I think people are still entitled to write their name in on, on the ballot. And a lot of those guys would, would still win. If you, in, in, uh, in, uh, in London, at Westminster, for example, uh, Irish Republican MPs, they're members of a party called Sinn Féin, which is the political wing of the IRA. And in certain districts in Northern Ireland, people uh, elect those guys to Parliament. And they don't take their seats because in London you're supposed to take an oath of allegiance to the Queen before you, and because they believe in, uh, in uh, Ireland, uh, an all-Ireland republic splitting away from the Queen, they won't take that oath. So they don't actually sit and participate. But the people have the right to elect those members uh, to Parliament. And that's actually quite an important principle. And when you're, and I, and so I have a sort of philosophical problem with term limits. But there's no doubt that the system gives huge advantages to these incumbents. And they pass all the, and then they then pass further acts to protect their incumbency, like the McCain fine gold uh, laws on uh, on campaign finance. So, so that again, it's easy to th there's a permanent political class in this country, and it's easy to blame them. But in the end, the people get the government they do in they get the government they deserve. And if they go along with this, uh, they've no one to blame for themselves. It's for the people to get sick of uh, the permanent political class and turf them out of office. It's the responsibility of the people.